Hi there, my name is Vic. I am a customer success manager here on the Dash team. And in today's video, I'll be showing you some of our more advanced features and unique features as well. <clears throat> so I'll start here on the menu tab on the left. Just a note, here the menu tab is in the open position. And here in the bottom left with these double arrows, you can minimize it and maximize it. So we'll start here with smart links. This is the basic overview page of all the smart links you've currently enabled with the type. Now we'll go into the creation of smart links here in the top right, just click on add smart link. And you can choose which one you'd like to use either a weighted or a targeted smart link, add in your publisher name, name as well, and the filters below where you would add in your filter to choose the offers you'd like to uh, involve in the weighted or targeted smart link uh, splitters. Now, just let me show you a completed view of what a test would look like. Let's try this one here. So, here we have the details of the smart link. The smart link, the offers that were chosen for this particular smart link, and the details around the parameters uh, that we chose previously as well, such as country, city, connection type, ISP, so on and so forth. In another video, I'll show you more details and how we can um, add these details. Next will be triggers. Again, this is an overview page of your triggers with the name and the associated rules that you set. I'll just quickly show you the page of uh, when you add a trigger and how it looks like. Here you'll add enabled or disabled. If you want to um, enable or disable your trigger rule, you'll add your associated event type, <clears throat> post pack and subsequent post pack, and the criteria or the rules that you would set to this particular trigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and also specific or custom parameters you'd like to set. Now, I'll just quickly go back and show you a completed version. Again, uh, I'll show you a more detailed version of how we create this in a future video. So here is the overview and the details of the conversion HT test trigger that you set uh, and the associated information. <clears throat> Those would be our two key and unique features that we have on the Dash platform. Now, moving on to some more of our uh, advanced features here would be onboarding requests. So on this page, we would receive requests from publishers who would like to work with us or with you. Um, they would submit a request, verify their email. The request would come here onto your on onboarding page and you would have the option to accept or deny that request. The next page here, approvals, will show all of the approved publishers that you'd like to work with or that you are working with at the moment. Um, and this is shown, uh, these, this, I guess, request offer or request um, proposal would be shown on your publisher portal page. A publisher can go onto your publisher portal, um, apply to be able to work with you to pull your offers. And from there, you would see the request and approve or deny them. And here would be the approvals page. Next and last thing for this video would be the creatives page. So here you can upload your creatives that you'd like to use associated with the offers. You can view them here, see the file name, size, the file type, and the date it was created. And this is basically a storage of all the creatives you'd like to use for the offers that you'd like to show on your publisher portal or to your end user, for example. Quickly here, you can just drag and drop the file or select a file from your uh, existing computer or documents folder. <clears throat> now I'll just close or minimize this tab here on the left. I hope that was um, informational and insightful for you today. And I'll see you on a future video to go over further details on the creation of smart links and triggers. Thank you very much.